Hello everyone, welcome to another session for our ARD uh, MCQ series. For today's topic, I've chosen uh, on the 20th Livestock Census of 2018-2019. My name is Hansa Nora Sama and I've done my bachelor's in horticulture honors and I've also completed my master's in nematology in agriculture. So this is a very important topic and it has a lot of facts and data. So please try to uh, have a copy with you or a notepad beside you so that you can uh, jot it down as I'm uh, explaining some things. And please don't forget to subscribe and please press the bell icon. And if you've liked the video, don't forget to put the thumbs up and share with your friends as well. Okay, so moving on, the first and foremost thing we need to know, we'll have a brief introduction on the 20th Livestock Census and the history behind it, okay? So the first and foremost, the Livestock Census is conducted across the country and it was first conducted in the year 1919 all right and it has been conducted once every every five years right and so far there have been only 19 census and the 2018 2019 census is the 20th census and this is conducted by the ministry of fisheries animal husbandry and dairy in participation with the state governments and the union territory administrations as well right and the census usually covers all domesticated animals and head counts of these animals are taken the 20th census was launched during the month of october 2018 and it went on till september 2019 and this the enumeration was done it was both done in the rural as well as the urban areas okay and so how did it take the data the data was collected by the national informatics center which was under the ministry of electronics and it and they developed an android based mobile application all right so through this they collected all the and these livestock census uh, it was carried out in about 6.6 .6 lakhs villages and 89,000 urban wards across the country, which covers more than 27 crores of households and non-households as well. Right. So let's go to the, our first question. As per the 20th livestock census, the total population of livestock is 536 Point seven million in the country. How much percent increase was there when compared to the previous livestock census of 2012? Okay, so the correct answer for this is 4.8, all right? And uh, here I've given the total livestock, the population of 2003 years uh, of the three consecutive uh, uh, reports, which is of 2007, to 2012 and 2019 all right so and uh, from here as you can see there was a decrease in the population in 2012 which is about 512.06 uh, million and in 2019 there was an increase till 536.76 million livestock population right and the highest uh, livestock number has emerged from Uttar Pradesh okay making it about 67.8 million and some of the highest states with a higher number a uh, higher number of livestock population was found in Rajasthan which comes about 56.8 million then comes Madhya Pradesh with 40.6 million and West Bengal 37.4 million uh, the, all of these have seen an increase or growth in the population of their livestock. Okay, so the total, so it was conducted both in the rural and urban areas. So the, in, the to, in the rural areas, there was an increase of about 4.5% and in urban areas, it was 11.19%. Going to the next question, which state showed the highest increase in poultry population, right? The options are A, Uttar Pradesh, B, West Bengal, C, Assam, D, Arunachal Pradesh, and E, Rajasthan, okay? So, the correct answer for this is number C, which is Assam, okay? Uh, Show the highest increase in the poultry population. So, let's go. I've given some of the uh, points related to poultry as well. So, Assam, West Bengal, and Odisha, they show the highest increase in the poultry population, right? and when they were compared to the previous census whereas uh, maharashtra 
and Telangana showed decrease in population. Right. So please don't forget to jot down uh, all these important uh, highest states as well as the lowest states and which showed the decrease or the increase in the population because these are the type of question that can come. Okay. So these are very important. So don't forget to remember all these. The total poultry population in the country according to the 20 livestock census is 852. It was around 851.81 but uh, we neglected and we make it to approximation of 852 million. And it was increased by 16.8% uh, over the previous years, right? Okay, so we have this backyard poultry as well as the commercial poultry, right? So the total backyard poultry in the country is about 317.07 uh, million in 2019 and it got increased by 45.8 percent over the previous census and for commercial it was uh, 534.74 million in 2019 and it got increased by 4.5 over the previous census right so going to the third question which of the following statement is or are not true right number a is the population of the total exotic or the crossbreed cattle has increased by 29% in 2019 as compared to the previous census. Number two is there is a decline of 6% in the total indigenous and non-descriptive cattle population over the previous census. The third one says the exotic crossbreed and indigenous non-descript cattle population in the country is 142.11 million and 82 million respectively all right so the uh, correct answer for this would be one and two all right there was an increase in 29 percent in the total exotic crossbreed cattle and there was um declined in 6% in the total indigenous. So remember this, don't get confused. There was an increase in the total exotic crossbreed, but there was a decline in the total indigenous and nondescript cattle population. Okay. The last option, the exotic crossbreed and indigenous descript cattle population in the country is 142.11 million and 82 million respectively. This is wrong. Okay. In this slide, I've given some uh, additional information based on cattle population. Let's go through it together. The total number of cattle in the country is around 193.46 million in 2019, which shows the increase of about 1.3% over the previous census. Okay, And the female cattle cow population is 145.12 million. They got increased by 180 over the previous census okay so the female cattle there was an increase but in the male population there was a decrease okay so for male there was a decrease of 30 percent right but female cattle it got increased by 18 percent but in male it got decreased by 30 percent all right and the exotic crossbreed and indigenous nondescript cattle population in the country is 50.42 million and 42.11 million respectively so this was the uh, correct figures the indigenous nondescriptive female cattle population has increased by 10% in 2019 as compared to the previous one. In this picture, I've given some of the uh, extra additional information. So the to it's about the milch uh, animals. Okay, the total milch animals in cows and buffaloes is 125.34 million and there was an increase of about 6%. And the total number of sheep was increased of 14.11% and in goat there was an increase of about 10.1 and for pig there was an increase of about 12.03 right there was a 10% increase and the population of indigenous non-female uh, cattle in 2019 we've already discussed and 6.9 in the exotic crossbreed cattle 6% decline in indigenous non-descriptive cattle and 100 and 9.8 million total buffaloes in the country okay going back to the next question as per the livestock census of 2019 which of the following population has shown the highest decrease in okay so um the options are cattle 
B, sheep, C is goat, D is pig, and E is poultry. So the correct answer for this is pig because it showed the highest decrease in the population, right? So the total pig in the country is about 9.06 million in the current census, which got declined by 12% over the previous census, okay? So in a total livestock population, um, it's covered up with a different cattle, sheep, goat, pig, poultry. So all of this make up of, uh, they are all of different species. And these uh, data out here, these are all the share, percent share of each of these uh, species. All right. So let's just go through all of them. Uh, according to the 20th livestock census, the distribution of livestock is 35.94 in cattle. 27.80% in goat, 20.45% in buffalo, and 13.87% in sheep, and 1.69% in pigs, okay? So there was a least amount of about 0.33% of the total livestock was um, shared by mitun, yaks, horses, ponies, mules, donkeys, camels, all right? And uh, as you can see here, there was an increase in the percent share of sheep and goat population, but there was a decrease in the percent share of cattle, buffalo, and pig, with pig being the highest decline of about 12.03. All right. So let's go to the last question. Which state in India showed the highest rise in cattle population as per the census of 2019? Right. The options are A. Assam, B. West Bengal, C. Uttar Pradesh, D. Andhra Pradesh, and E. None of them. So the right answer for this is West Bengal. Okay. So th this state, West Bengal, showed the highest rise or the highest rise in the cattle population, but Uttar Pradesh showed the decrease in the cattle population. Right. And uh, West Bengal, they showed a rise of about 15%. So these are the, some of the questions that are framed. And as I've uh, framed the question, I've also tried to uh, add additional information, which will be useful for you all. Um, uh, before uh, ending the video, I would uh, I have a few questions for you. So there's the total bovine population. Okay. So what is the uh, uh, what is the total bovine population in the country, right? Okay. So and what is the percent increase in its population? So if you know the answers for this, don't forget to uh, drop by the comments and please answer it and please let me know. So well, that's all for today. Thank you so much. And please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. And if you've liked the video, please put the thumbs up button as well as share the video with your friends who is giving the exam. Thank you.